So if you're getting slow internet speeds and the Wi-Fi connection is dropping using BT or EE router and you want to improve your internet connection, the best way is to use your own router. And that's what today's video is about. How to use a third party router with BT or EE on the FTTP service. I have also reviewed the EE Smart Hub Plus Wi-Fi 6 router. I'll link it in the iCard and I'll also pin it in the comment section below if you want to watch that review. I have used my own router with BT and EE. As BT owns EE, the login details that we will need for PPPOE and the password is exactly the same for both of them. So there are two ways. The first where you completely remove the BT or EE router and use your own. The other way, if you have a telephone line going into the back of your router, in that case, you can't get rid of the BT or EE router completely. You will still need to use that. This part of the cable will of course be into your ONT box. You'll also have your telephone line in there as well. Make sure the ethernet cable is cut 5V or above. Don't go for anything below like cut 5. Put one end of the ethernet cable into one port unless you are using TP-Link Deco that has auto sensing ports. You could select any port. The other end will go into any port. These four ports are gigabit. Back of the BT Hub 2, they're gigabit as well. That will go in there. Turn the deco on or turn your router, whichever you're using, ASUS Netgear or whatever, turn it on. Download the mobile app or if you're going to use the web interface, it's going to ask you for some details. Follow the instruction. It's going to ask connection type. When it asks you for connection type, select dynamic IP. The BT or EE router will give your new router an IP address. It will then ask you to create your Wi-Fi network. So you select an SSID name and a password. I'd recommend select your existing Wi-Fi name. That way you don't have to go around and put your Wi-Fi password in all your devices. It will automatically connect. Once you have your new router up and running, go to your BT or EE router's login page and turn Wi-Fi off. You have that option or the second option when you're setting your new router up, you can run it in access point mode. Now I'm going to show you how to connect to your router to the ONT box. You get rid of your BT or EE router, completely remove this. Step one, power your ONT box off, remove the power cable. It's important you do this because your ONT box will give your new router a new IP address. Now put your cable back into the ONT box, turn your ONT box on. In the meantime, power your new router up, one end of the ethernet cable, Put it into the one port of your new router. Put the other end of this cable into the ONT box. Now let's go to the app. Set up a new network. So I'm using an ASUS router here. The apps, of course, will be different. We just follow the on-screen instructions. I have the Pro ET12. Okay, so I need to scan the code at the bottom of the router. So for ASUS, I know you have to have your Bluetooth turned on. So I have my Bluetooth on. Join the network. So there's no password to this. PPPOE account. So again, BT, EE, they're both exactly the same. BT Home Hub at btbroadband.com, password BT. It's asked me for these details because I've removed the EE router. Here it's asking for special requirements. I don't have any. Now I pick my Wi-Fi name and my Wi-Fi password. A quick tip, pick your existing Wi-Fi name and password. It just makes it a lot easier. This is for the ASUS app. So after this, it will set the network up and then you are ready to use your new router and hopefully get better Wi-Fi rather than using the BT or EE one. And there I am set up now, so I don't have the EE router anymore. Hope this video helped someone. If it did, give it a like and please subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.